to Space Coast Channel's Brevard Vets Matter Show. I'm your host, Ricardo Alvarez Jr., otherwise known as Computer Rich LLC, your personal tech support. I'm here today at the Veterans Memorial Center with Ray Giacomparo with Counseling to Careers. Ray, can you tell me a little bit more about your organization? Hello, my name is Ray Giacomparo and I work with veterans at Counseling to Careers, Our Veterans and Families here in Brevard County in Orange County, Florida. Our job and mission is to bring people who have served in the military and their families back into civilian life and to generate good careers for them so that as they progress in life, they can have a good, normal civilian life. Ray, can you tell me a little bit about the services that your organization provides and who they provide them to? I sure can. We have uh, loads of veterans here in uh, Brevard County and in Orange County. It's uh, some of the highest population in the country, actually. Uh, last count, I think it was like 20%. And uh, we work with veterans on a lot of different levels. Sometimes we get customers from the internet and from word of mouth. We're working with people with master's degrees and we're working with people who are homeless. The uh, population right now is about half homeless and half other people who have just left the service and are having difficulties uh, translating their education and their uh, experience into English from military language. Right. I noticed here that you had an event uh, Friday night, second annual gala for Counseling to Career. Can you tell me what that event was all about? Well, that was our second annual gala uh, for Counseling to Careers. Last year we were very small. Uh, we had worked for a couple of years to, to bring awareness uh, to people who uh, don't know about veteran suicide rates of 22 a day. We had worked very hard to bring in as many people to counsel as we could, but we really had a very small sampling of the population as our clients. This year, uh, we utilized the, comp the money from last year's gala to bring us forward, and we've grown about 10 times uh, since last year. And this year's gala was our report card. We had a responsibility to show our growth to the people who had supported us for two years in a row. Last year we raised $7,000 and we basically lived the entire year on that. And we've grown 10 times in that year. This year, because of the great support in Brevard County, uh, all the wonderful people and businesses here who have supported us, we expect to make around $19,000. Well, Ray, can you tell me about the, how the pipeline works and uh, how you service these veterans? Well, to explain the pipeline, it's, it's really best to give you just an example. And this is our most recent example. We've done it before, uh, and this happens quite a bit with our, our uh, system. We had a, a homeless veteran who was in shelter at Housing for Homeless, uh, and we were working with him to get him a job. He showed some ambition, and, and we got him a job right away, making about $8 an hour. Uh, after a few weeks of him working there, I asked him how he liked his meager $8 an hour job, and he said that he loved it, and that he wouldn't miss a day of work and had not missed a day of work. We looked into it a little bit further from the employer's side, and he had not missed a day of work, and they loved him there as well. So I decided that it was time for him to look at a career plan. So I offered him a number of suggestions, and one of our uh, programs allows for machinist training. Machinists are in high demand in Brevard County especially. Uh, all of our machinists are retiring, so there's a really good need for them. And we have about a two and a half year program that will allow him to make a lot of money. As he was told of this, he went and he did some studying. He showed, like I say, a lot of this was him, showed a lot of ambition, and he came back and he said he really wanted to go through this program. I told him that I was told he needed to save up $500. And at $8 an hour, I thought that would take a while. He said he would do it. And three weeks later, he showed up with $500 for me. Uh, then I found out more and more about the program, that uh, the start date and so forth. And we enrolled him about two weeks ago into this program. After about eight weeks, uh, he will be able to make $15 an hour just from the first module of the course, and we will place him in something like that. But the beauty of it is that we were able also to find full funding for him, so he got to keep his $500, which he so desperately needed. 
So he's well on his way to a career that could yield him $85,000 a year to start after he's done with all the schools. Now, it sounds like a worthy cause, Ray. Can you tell me a little bit more about your plans for the future? The objective of this company is always to put an office within driving distance of every veteran in the country someday. We're moving very rapidly. In the last year, we moved uh, throughout Brevard County, and we got contracts with Housing for Homeless. We have contracts with the uh, state of Florida now, which will help us grow, and we have a very big backing. So we're going to be opening up a organizational office, which will turn into a clinical office as well. We will have psychiatrists and therapists there for PTSD and depression in-house. Uh, we will be able to bill insurance in a lot of cases, and philanthropy will take care of the rest. We have uh, plans to have career counseling in the same building, because this is all part of the same ball of wax. As this particular first uh, location opens and grows, we will use the proceeds from that to open a second location in southern Brevard County, and so on. Well, Ray, as a veteran, I want to ask for myself, can I use your psychiatrist? <laughs> yes, you can. As a matter of fact, I was planning on uh, introducing you to it. <laughs> but yes, anyone who is a veteran and is one of our clients can utilize our behavioral science uh, department. And uh, they have to be diagnosed by the VA or by the military as having depression and, and or PTSD. But it is available at no charge. So, Ray, can you tell me how this prevents veteran suicide? I sure can. Veteran suicide is something that happens down the road with veterans. In fact, the uh, age of suicide is somewhere in the neighborhood of 50 to 55 years old. I, we believe that that is because veterans get out of the military and they never get a chance to do anything that they feel is as important as the, what they did in the military. Fight 22 is collectively what we call our entire pipeline. And that is getting people out of homelessness, getting them a job, getting them a better job or a better education, bringing them into a more meaningful career, getting them out of homelessness and into their own uh, place and finally a house and kids and, and the whole American dream. Without this American dream, they are very, very prone to suicide. Fight 22 is our trademark for this and it's a collection of us at Counseling to Careers and other organizations who work with us, such as NBHS, the DAV, the Space Coast Paratroopers, and others that, that uh, allow us to help. So you were saying this was all about families and stuff. Do you have a dating service that I can take advantage of? <laughs> uh, no, you, no, we don't. However, <laughs> it is always much better to get a date if you have a job and a career than it is if you're like in the gutter or in homelessness. So uh, the, uh, the whole objective is to give them the life that everybody deserves, that all our heroes deserve, and then the rest really kind of falls into place. It will never fall into place if they remain homeless, and it will never fall into place if they go from one mediocre job to the next. Anyone can get these guys jobs. There's lots of organizations that do. But the one, the one organization that stays with them after they get their job and works on their career until they can pay back to society is Counseling to Careers. So, Ray, can you tell me about the growth of the pipeline, where you started and where you're at now? I can. Uh, the pipeline right now is very well, is very sophisticated. Uh, it has become more well-rounded. We now have paperwork tracking and computerized tracking of all of our veterans and where they go and, and how we keep working with them. Uh, we have a, a much larger track record. Last year at this time, we really didn't have much infrastructure and we worked with two to four veterans at a time. Now we work to 30, for, with 39 to 40 veterans at a time. And uh, the, the difference is that yeah, we are keeping the veterans that we have, but the ones that we look at primarily are the ones in the primary job positions, the one we're trying to get the first job for. Uh, the, uh, the pipeline has grown 10 times in the last uh, year, and we've also offered more, more and more services. We have a U.S. Army veteran uh, officer who, whose job it was to provide PTSD treatment for 
the, the veterans, the uh, active service people. Now he's doing this as private practice, and anyone can go and see him, but he does this for counseling to careers uh, as a, a free service. So it's a donation of his time, anytime we need it. All right, Ray, can you tell me what other parts of the pipeline there are and how you use them? Pipeline, as I said, has gotten bigger. It's also expanded into Orlando. We've got a lot of support there. We've got really some major sponsors there. The Navy League is on our side now, and uh, so is Colonial Life, as well as the uh, Orange County um, Department of Public Works is on our side. So this pipeline gets larger every day. And how that happens, companies like yours uh, who are hiring uh, will contact us and say, listen, if you have a veteran, we would like to employ him. And they send us job descriptions as they come available, and they give our veterans a personal look rather than just having them go through a computer system. We've got several major companies and uh, dozens of smaller companies that do this with us, and that is what makes us different in the primary job searches. Now, Ray, I was wondering, are there volunteer opportunities, and how can uh, individuals and businesses get involved to help out the organization? There are. Uh, we have lots of volunteer positions. Right now we're looking for more case managers so that we can do a better job with people all over Brevard and in Orange County. If you're a business person or a retired who uh, has good understandings of how jobs are obtained, have uh, had interviews and uh, performed interviews for, for jobs, HR specialists are really great, great at this, uh, then we definitely need you just a few hours a week to meet with veterans. If we have many hands, it makes the work light. Uh, other uh, volunteering opportunities, well, we have events. We definitely need supporters at our events to help us with them. That is a huge thing for us. These events show our flag. They get our name out. They make us expand. We receive more and more uh, accolades and and, uh, and and we hand out more and more awareness at every one of these events. As we hand that awareness out, we are given clients. As more clients come in, we need more caseworkers and we need people to handle paperwork. We need hand people to uh, do office work. Uh, we take interns. Interns are great. Uh, we, we, uh, we do a nice job with them. We've got a couple of people with master's degrees here uh, on staff who can administer them. Uh, and, of course, uh, volunteering can be as simple as writing a check uh, and supporting us or sponsoring us for a year. Uh, and, and we will obviously uh, be very thankful. And like our banner says here, you'll, you'll get sponsorship for a year if you, uh, if you decide to work with us. Ray, you were talking about sponsorships and you were talking about advertising for the year. Uh, what else could a sponsor expect to get uh, from Counseling to Careers, or how would they be able to expose you and, and uh, with their business model? What they would do is sign up with us as a, an employer. Uh, there's a place on our website under donations for that, and a, a company can sign up with us. We'll contact you directly and find out how you want to work with us. Uh, once that happens and, and you're happy with us, and, and I think you will be, we've got some really great people to place. Uh, tell your friends and other businesses to do the same, because we can place all of the veterans that we have. Would Counseling to Careers be interested in maybe hosting, a sh uh, having some of these candidates come on our show and interviewing them live on the show? We appreciate that offer. That is a possibility. Uh, we do mock interviews in private, and it, once they get well enough versed at it, they could market their skills here. Uh, it would, of course, have to be with permission of our clients. Uh, it, not all of them even want to be out in public or anything like that, you know, because some, some of them are homeless and it's a little bit difficult. But we do have a lot of clients who would do this. So, yeah, it's a great offer. I think we can do that. So, Ray, how about some of those companies that are uh, sponsoring you? Uh, come on our show and maybe talk about what they're looking for in the way of a candidate or an employee. That would be great. I, it would give me an excuse to contact all of them again, and uh, and I think that they would be very interested in doing something like this. It's good. It's good for them because most of these companies, all of our companies, obviously hire vets, so they wouldn't be working with us. So that's something that they should be proud of. Now, Ray, I'd like to know. Uh, I see where you're at now, but what prompted you to start this? charity or this nonprofit of counseling to careers. 
That's a really good question. Uh, the, the Back in 2013, I was retired and uh, I was kind of looking back on my life and I ran into a sailor who did pretty much what I did when I was in the Navy. And I asked him, I said, geez, you've got a lot of skills. Uh, how are you doing finding a job? And he told me my story from 1983 when I got out of the Navy, which wasn't a good one. Uh, I ended up working with people who were right out of high school with no training, and I really had to work my way up from the bottom. Uh, most companies that I tried to get good jobs with imagined me backpacking across Europe for six years. But instead, I was working on mainframe computer systems, and I was probably uh, one of the top technicians in the, uh, in the New York State area. But uh, I decided at that point that this injustice, uh, where a sailor will go to school for two solid years, eight hours a day, five days a week, with no summer vacations, and get absolutely no credit for it, uh, is just nonsense. So it all started with me wanting to be an advocate for the military educations that means so much to these men and women. So what would the benefit be to some of these businesses to hire a veteran? Why should they hire a veteran? Well, I'll tell you, there are so many reasons to hire a veteran. Veterans are people who have been trained to do the most incredible things and carry the most enormous responsibilities at 19 years old. They have learned to, to wield giant, expensive systems. Uh, they are flight mechanics. They are uh, avionics technicians. They are computer systems analysts. They are communications analysts. They do the things that, uh, right out of high school, after two years of Navy school, or military school that most people would not be able to do after four years of school. And I always ask, who would you rather hire? Someone who had that much authority and that much responsibility for four years in the military, or someone who had just finished four years of frat party? Well, what are some of the companies or organizations that you've worked with uh, that have uh, sponsored counseling to careers? There's quite a few, actually. Uh, we're very excited about it. Last year at this time, we had one sponsor, and uh, we they, they actually made the gala possible for us, so that was really nice. But this year, we've got quite a few. Um, we uh, our, our top sponsors this year were Colonial Life, and they are all over Brevard and in Orange County. Melbourne Greyhound Park was our major sponsor. Uh, they have a wonderful uh, facility here in uh, in um, Melbourne. Monroe Aerospace, very large aerospace parts company. Uh, we had Kindred Hospital, Craig Technologies, Walmart, KCraft Cabinets, Truly Nolan, Star Staff, Brevard Center of, In of Influence, uh, R Squared Solutions, the Pastors Community Alliance, Devon Dames. FDMC Social and Digital Media, great company. They've, they've done lots for us uh, in, in uh, the, the past couple of years. And Computer Rich, your personal tech support from my friend over here. My favorite. Yes. And then uh, we have uh, Standout Swag. We have v, uh, VFW, a couple of VFWs here, uh, Post 117 and uh, Post 8321. And then we have Brazilian Blowout. Pip Printing did a lot for us as well. Uh, we also have the uh, the big cupcake company. Soulfully Sweet. Soulfully Sweet, yes. They they were one of our, uh, our big sponsors as well this year. So we've got quite a few. Uh, uh, I did have one other question. Sure. I noticed it says that you play service dogs. Can you tell us a little bit more about the service dogs and how that works? We sure can. We're uh, just getting started with this, but we do have service dogs available through the Sheriff's Department. The Sheriff's Department uh, at the uh, county jail utilizes inmates to train up service dogs professionally. And they train them for all different types of disabilities and also uh, as bomb sniffing dogs. They, they train them for everything there. And we've been asked uh, to work up uh, uh, the ability to place service dogs properly with the right candidates. 
And uh, right about now, the paperwork is almost done. Uh, we should be able to actually play service dogs by about the middle of October. That's awesome, Ray. Uh, you know, I think that's like excellent service. I mean, everybody loves animals, but I know that we have some, some blind people that use service dogs very well, so I could see. Now, can you tell us how those dogs are going to help these soldiers or these sailors that, uh, that you place them with? It's remarkable, actually, uh, seeing these service dogs into action. They are so sensitive. When a PTSD episode occurs with a veteran, the service dog no starts by nuzzling them and uh, kind of rubbing up against them, kind of reminding me that there's a reality outside of this episode. And it brings them back into the, the, the reality of the moment instead of the reality that created his PTSD in the first place. You almost have to see it to believe it. It's so good. It's so good. So what type of dogs are these? Are, are these German Shepherds or are we talking about Chihuahuas? Um, usually they're larger dogs. Uh, they're not necessarily German Shepherds. They are they're all sorts of dogs. They're mutts. A lot of the mutts are the best service dogs. Uh, usually they're bigger. Uh, the, um, the, the larger animals are more docile and quieter and so forth. You can't get a nervous little dog to be a service dog very easily. Um, and these dogs are true professionals. So, so how do these dogs do this? Do they lick them, bite them, drag them across the floor? Tell me a little bit more about <laughs> It's very subtle. These, like I said before, these dogs are true professionals. Uh, it's very subtle. They just go into action, and the actions are hard to describe. Imagine an 80-pound dog just kind of putting his shoulder against you when he feels that something is wrong. He will, and a lot of times that's all it takes. The, uh, the animal is there, he's there all the time. There is nothing that separates the, uh, the dog from its owner. You know, that's remarkable. Now what I want to know is, are these service dogs able to go in and bring me back a beer? <laughs> no. <laughs> and we're trying to keep people away from things like that in a lot of cases. But uh, no, they, they are not the, uh, your average fetch dog. You don't want to be petting someone else's service dog. Um, they really have bonded with their particular mate. And they really aren't all that interested in other people. And they're certainly not circus animals. Well, fabulous, Ray. Can you tell us how these uh, prospective businesses could reach you? Uh, what would be your phone number, your website? Certainly. Uh, we're pretty easy. We're Counseling to Careers. So just go to www.counselingtocareers.org. Uh, we are on the web. We've got a good web presence. Make sure you visit our sponsors there. Uh, and also our business partners. They're all on, the, on two different pages. Uh, our phone number is 321-747-9205. That's the office number. And a lot of times I have that forwarded because we're not always in the office. And also... Uh, our candidates can reach us uh, day or night at that number, or they can email us also at uh, info at counselingtocareers.org. It's a lot easier to call. And uh, we will get back to them if we're not right there, but uh, essentially anybody who is a veteran or a veteran's family member who has a problem related to service is welcome to call us. We don't turn anyone away. This is one of the reasons we need more people in volunteer situations and, and more money so that we can uh, make it a professional organization. Also, this show right here and shows like it, um, sponsors should really consider sponsoring this show. It brings a lot of awareness. It helps counseling to careers and it helps our, our clients and their families. Uh, our sponsors are, are great. There are thousands of companies out there that, uh, that work with veterans and, and give special dispensations to veterans when they're looking for work. And I'm sure that they are looking for good candidates and we can help them and you can help us help them with this show. By the way, Ray, advertisers can start out with as little as $300 and we will give them three months of advertising for that low cost. I think that's very reasonable. I think that, uh, that uh, this is going to be a big hit. Uh, the show and, and it'll give a lot of exposure to veteran conscious businesses out there. So you should definitely advertise with this show. For more information, please go to spacecoastchannel.com. Well, Ray, thank you for coming on Space Coast Channel's Brevard Vets Matter show and tune in to us next week, ladies and gentlemen, and see what else we have to offer. Thank you for having me.